Hi everybody, I'm back. Um, I apologize for taking so long to post this part two of the vintage jewelry and vintage clothing haul. Um, I photographed, or not photographed, I videotaped one part, the jewelry part, and intended to do them back to back. And uh, as seems to be the case as of late, something um, always manages to get in the way and I don't always get a chance to follow through. Anyway, I'm really excited to be able to show you guys this stuff because um, I think, um, as I mentioned in the video before um, the, the vintage jewelry one, um, I'm in the process of downsizing my clothing and trying to get a narrower beam um, on what my, vint not my, what my style is. And I'm finding that the more I try on even the contemporary clothes that I have in my closet, and I try on um, the vintage clothes, that in both categories, I'm even in the contemporary clothes, I'm looking for clothing that has more of uh, a vintage feel to it. Um, so I think that's probably where um, my focus is going to be um, um, with my thrifting from now on, which is going to make it harder and maybe I won't come back with a video um, for a while because that's one of the things now is vintage clothing is getting really hard to find um, in thrift stores. But anyway, uh, I lucked out this week. As I said in my last video, I went to a couple of thrift stores that I hadn't been to before. Um, one of them, I had the paper because I was going to put it in the box. I'll try to put it in the box. Um, if you guys are interested in where I went, um, just leave me a message and I'll get it back if you don't see it in the in the description box um, for this video. Um, I'm just real unorganized right now. And so uh, anyway, let me go ahead and get started with this. Um, the first thing that I got, I got this from, it's called Back Porch Thrift Store and it's on Route 1 in Alexandria, Virginia. So if you are in the Washington, D.C., um, Maryland, uh, I don't know, is it Northern Maryland, Southern Maryland, um, Northern Virginia um, part, um, it's off of Route 1, you know, everybody, well, everybody who pretty much lives in this area should be familiar with Route 1. It basically runs parallel um, to 95, it was, that's what it is, but um, this is one of the things I got, and one of my favorite things to find, which is vintage turtlenecks. Um, I like the way they fit better. Um, they're, you know, they're not pure cotton like they are now, but they have a, some of them have a silkier feel to them, but my favorite thing is, um, I like them when they zipper up the back like this one does. They just fit better to the neck, and I think they look, um, sleeker. Um, then they hold their shape a little bit better, I think, because of the zipper. Um, I have some turtlenecks, actually, that I downsized, that I like them, but the neck or the body has just gotten real boxy, and I don't like... I like things a little bit more fitted, not snug, but not boxy. Um, and that's why I like vintage turtlenecks. So I was really excited to find this cream one. Um, it was $4, which is not bad for a vintage item. Um, I, these are in no, no particular order. Um, the next thing I found is I found a couple of vintage hats from at the Goodwill. And they were like $2.99 a piece um, with 25% uh, off for their Military Appreciation Day on Thursday. And I found these at a Goodwill um, at, on Route 1. But this one reminds me of um, a hat worn by Audrey Hepburn in Funny Face. Um, the only difference it, uh, with Fred Astaire, the only difference is the one that Audrey Hepburn wears is probably felt. This one is straw, and it's just really cute, cool, kind of, it almost looks like, uh, it looks like you could put a plan in it, like a planner, you know, you see those. Um, but it's a really cute hat, and, it's, and it was made in Italy, and I like it because... Um, I'm looking at the mirror. I like it because I can wear it with my natural hair, with my hair short and curly, and it looks good. Um, so it was $2.99, and then I got this one, which I believe is a 1940s or 1950s, um, in really good shape. Black hat, has a union label in it, um, which if I go online, I'm pretty sure will tell me when it was made. 
but I like this one too. Does the same thing. Fits a little, well, not quite, but actually I think it's supposed to sit on top of the head like this. Um, so it fits. And I know hats are supposed to be um, hot, um, a hot trend, at least according to the Wall Street Journal that I read. Um, so I'm really excited. So I've got lots of vintage hats that I can wear. Um, I have this really cute linen um, skirt. Um, I know color is in. And I just like the turquoise, and I liked the pockets and the details with the covered buttons on it. And it's high waisted. It's actually been hemmed higher, um, so I can actually take I can take the hem out if I want it longer. But it's actually a fairly good length. It hits the knee, so it's really cute. It was I think two ninety nine um, from the Goodwill. And then one of my favorite things to find is vintage suits. Um, I like them because you can wear them together or you can break them up. This is a knit one made by, I think it's this made, this is made in Hong Kong. Very cute burgundy color. Um, kind of a crop jacket, has little uh, faux pockets. Um, the bottom actually curves rather than being straight and then you've got just your little um, stretchy skirt, but I like the color. I can wear this, you know, I can wear this with this and then with that um, cream colored turtleneck if I want, or I can wear it together with the cream colored turtleneck. And um, I got this at Value, the Village Thrift. I'm still trying to call it that, the Village Thrift. Um, it was regular $14.90. Um, but it was half off. Um, that's one of the things. I don't mind paying more, a little bit more, than I normally would for um, vintage clothing. Um, that, because that's my love and, you know, value for everybody is always um, relative. Um, so, um, that was cool. I also got this very pretty um, brocade um, made in Hong Kong, or, yeah, made in the, actually, the Royal Crown Colony of Hong Kong. So this was probably made when Hong Kong was under British rule. It's back. Um, fits great. It's got the little slits on the side. Um, I don't know. I may wear this for a Christmas party. It fits really nice. Um, hits just below the knee. Very cute. It was $9. Um, then I got this velveteen... Um, hunter green blazer and the vest to go with it and I got this at back porch thrift and I got it for I got both pieces two dollars for both so a dollar a piece um, really like that um, I'm not sure if this is vintage or not I think it is because well it's made in the US it's Harve Bernard and it just looks different but it's a little pencil skirt very cute. This one I got at a place, the place called the Thrift Super Center, which is actually right down the street um, from from the back porch. Um, just a black pencil skirt, but what I like is the, the detailing, the little pleat up at the top. Um, and it was six ninety, and and this thrift store actually has the tags, um, you know, t different color tags, and it was half off. Um, plus they have a day two. I'm 25% off. I got this one as well. Um, this one I think is a 1940s. Um, and I actually have the belt. And that's very rare to get the belt that goes along with it. But a 1940s dress. Um, zippers down the middle. Just black. Um, really cute with the collar. Um, $9.98. It was half off. Um, super at the center. Um, I got two red velvet dresses. Um, they're completely different. This one reminds me of like 1960s. It might be older than that. Maybe 1930s kind of thing. Um, long. It's got a bow in the back. Metal zipper all the way up. Doesn't have any tags in it. Um, so I'm guessing it might be handmade, but very pretty. Um, for the holidays. I don't know. I may keep it may keep it and they put it on Etsy, which one of these days I'll get my Etsy, Etsy shop open. I really like this one. Um, it was $14.90 and it wasn't on sale, but I could not pass this up. And it just so happened the day I was there, they also had 25% uh, off for military. So uh, if you guys don't know, mil my husband's in the military, so I got 25% off. Of this but I just love the heavy embroidery on it and it's lined with the silk lining 
um, here. I don't know if that's the original lining or not. I guess it is. Or whether that was added in, I'm not sure. But anyway, it's just really cute, um, cute little dress um, with the bow and big bow in the front and the straps. And then, let's see, I think this is, yep, yeah, this is the last one. This is my last of my haul. And this is another red dress. This one is long sleeves and hits off the shoulders. Um, it has a bow in the back as well. Closes with a metal zipper. Um, it's fully lined. Uh, has no labels inside that I have been able to find yet. Um, and it actually has a slight train on the bottom. And it's got this uh, weighted material that will keep it flat on the floor. Very pretty color. I think I have some military functions to go to um, in the next couple of months. And I'm thinking I may wear this rather than the, you know, the usual black or whatever. Um, so it's holiday-y, you know, Christmassy, but it's not that Christmas tree red like, like that one I showed before. More of a burgundy. But this one is really pretty. So um, that's pretty much everything um, that I've got. Um, vi um, vintage haul. I've got some other stuff um, that I got. I got a couple of vintage items off of Etsy and eBay and maybe I'll throw those into another um, video later on but I just wanted to show you um, the vintage haul. Um, if you guys have any questions or comments please post them at the bottom and I will see you guys soon. Thanks. Bye bye.